Thanks for joining me this morning. This will be part two of our new session that we're doing today. And we're reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And we're talking about the reality of the new creation. You know, the problem with most, most believers is they don't really have a, a complete understanding of the fact is that, they, that if any man be in Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. In order for you and I to walk victorious in this life, until Yahushua comes back for his own, it's imperative for us to understand that we're not just forgiven sinners, but that we are, as the scripture says, a new creation. Now this creation was nothing that we did on our, on our behalf, uh, on, our, on our own efforts, or our own by our own good behavior, or by even keeping the Torah or the commandments. You cannot change your nature. But natural man cannot change who he has become. He has become a child of the devil, he has become related spiritually to Shaitan, to the enemy, and he needs a savior. That's why a person needs to be born again. As Yahushua Hamashiach said, a man must be born again in order to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. It was imperative for you and I to, to, to have a new nature, to be partakers of the divine nature. And so uh, the moment that a person totally puts their faith and trust in the Messiah, the Father has promised to give us of His Spirit, of His Ruach, to those that believe. Now, I'm not talking about just some kind of a, a natural human thinking belief. I'm talking about it in a, a total commitment to Him, a total commitment to believe the gospel, that you uh, were a sinner and that you needed a Savior. And the only way that you could have salvation was not by your own efforts or by your own good works or your deeds, but that you recognize that you were enabled not able to, to, to actually uh, change who you are. See, that's the purpose of the Torah, was to, put, to, to point us to the Messiah, to point us to the fact that we could not keep all the commandments, and the commandments are more than just 10 commandments. There's actually 613 commandments in the Torah that, that Yahuwah gave mankind to keep. And so by his own, uh, and, and the reason for this is, of course, not for that man could evolve into some kind of spirituality to please Yahuwah, but to, for the fact is that he would recognize that he uh, was not able to do it because of the weakness of the flesh. In fact, the Apostle Paul, or Shaol, in the book of Romans wrote about that fact, that because of the weakness of the flesh, that was the, the problem with just the, keeping the Torah. And in fact, the, the Jews, or Yahudim, uh, that was their stumbling stone that they stumbled upon. They thought by just keeping the commandments, they could, they could you know, gain acceptance before Yahuwah. But in reality, they, if you broke one part of the law, just one of the, of the 613 commandments, you'd be, be guilty of all of them. <laughs> so that's a pretty sad situation. So it really was to bring you to a realization that you needed a Savior. And... Uh, the good news is to understand that you, once you have uh, put your faith and trust in the Messiah, that you are a new creature in Yahushua HaMashiach. Now, the new creation reality is the, the man on the inside that you cannot see. There is, a, there is an outward man, which you can see my outward flesh, but there's an inward man. And that inward man, what's happened in the realm of the Ruach, in the realm of the Spirit, we have become one with our uh, Mashiach, our Messiah. The book of Romans says that if any man have not the spirit or the Ruach of Yahuwah, of, of the Messiah, you don't belong to the family of Yahuwah. We'll pick this up on session number three. So thank you for joining me uh, this morning and please share this with others. And until then, Shalom.